So you've got yourself into a nice mooring. How do you keep yourself there? You cut me loose and set me free. You cut me loose. You make me win in every way. Win in every way. You show me how to spread my wings. Yes, I'm the winner of the day. You cut me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You show me how to spread my wings. Yes, I'm the winner of the day. Today we're going to talk about basic mooring lines and mooring knots and hitches. Let's get on with it. Oh. Well, we've all seen that done before. And maybe some of us have done that before, maybe most of us. But let's have a chat about the correct way of doing it. The most, the most common way of mooring your boat, if you've got a post, is with a clove hitch. Now all this entails is if you've got the boat on your left hand and then the rope on your right hand you just want to put a loop in the rope right under left put that on and then do the same again right under left put that on over the top and then just snug that up and that will hold your boat quite nicely the only problem with that is, as discussed in a previous video, if you've got a bit of to and fro in, it can start to work loose a little bit. It, it can start to work loose. If you've got a constant pull on it, it'll be fine. If it's backwards and forwards in, it can work loose a little ways. So, if you suspect that might happen, your other option which is more secure, is the round turn and two half hitches which we used in a previous video. So you'll do a round turn, only this time, instead of using the, we're gonna fold the rope over on itself, like this. We're gonna double the rope up. So you've got your round turn, now you're gonna go over the top, and through and pull that and then you're going to do the same again over the top and through and pull that and that'll be your round turn and your two half hitches let me just show you what that looks like round turn two half hitches that will be that'll be more secure now if you're in a, a nice little sleepy backwater like this then two mooring lines fore and aft tied up with clove hitches is perfectly adequate perfectly adequate now if i were in more tidal waters there's something else i would do and that is called a spring line. And let's show you how that works. So a spring line works as a third line. So what you would do is get your get the cleat on your boat halfway between two posts and you'll tie your stern one 
onto the back post and you'll put another line on that same cleat pull it in and you'll bring it forward bring it forward onto this cleat onto this post and just tie the same tie her off the same weight like that tie off the same way now you'll notice the boat can't go that way and it can't go that way so it's held in place against the bank in position very useful in a tidal area now once you're safely moored and you're happy get your ropes get your spare lines that you've got all over the floor and coil them up I'm not I won't curl it up properly I'm only one-handed I've got the camera but, um, just curl them all up curl it up nicely and lay it at the foot of the post so it's out of the way much more professional looking now if you look at the boat see it's doing that so obviously our bow line's a little bit too long so let's pull that in a little bit so we're just going to pull that in a little bit <laughs> loosen that off pull that in and you'll see the boat come in boat will come in nicely Let's nestle up against the side of the key head in and then we tie it off again right under left and right under left again and snug that off and then curl that up neatly curl that up neatly and lay it at the foot of the post out of the way Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you. Even when my teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine Advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired of love songs